What's the name of the cow on this video? The owner of Cool Blue Farm named this cow after the consulting firm that turned around his dairy investment. It can't get better than this. When we got to his farm about one year ago, his production was at 154 liters of milk per day, milking 17 cows. The growth rate for his calves and heifers was at 400 grams per day. Cows were resting about 5 hours per day. They were waiting cows. His cows had heat stress, social stress, and water stress. There were severe mineral deficiencies, both protein and energy deficiencies, and poor feeding systems. Working together as a team, dairy investor, dairy consultant, and the farm workers, we were able to address all the challenges. We were able to segment feeding, TMR systems of feeding, and subsequently challenge feeding. <laughs> Today, Cool Blue Farm, based at Dinda, Kinangop, within Nyandarwa County, is producing 540 liters of milk per day from 24 milking cows. Conception rate at the farm is at 1.2. The cows rest between 14 to 16 hours. Very clean cows, calm and healthy. We added more water points. Remember, milk is 87.5% water. You can't afford to have water stress at your farm. Cows, water points ratio is 1 is to 3 to 4. I need to send a fee note on this one, but I won't because I am a USAID champion of change, a certified cow signal master trainer. All I want is to make Africa's dairy industry profitable and globally competitive. Impacts come before profits. From his profit and loss account statements, the dairy enterprise is profitable. But there is a very unique value add of this venture to the dairy investor. I like calling it the green therapy. Interacting with clean, healthy and comfortable cows gives you some soothing feel with debriefing undertones. Could this be the reason Mr. Gishe has spent almost all his weekends at this farm? Dairy farming is cool. Use science to do business and you won't go wrong. Tanolopi is your dairy partner. We add value to dairy investments in Africa. www.tanolopi.com